Hi, everyone. Happy Friday, and welcome back to It's All Jam. Like my sign? Um, so today, it's Friday. It's yucky out in New Jersey. It's doing something out that window, sleep something. I don't know. I haven't been out of the house in like two days, but that's okay. So, um, I've got my wine keeping me warm. I have this awesome candle. Um, I, I went to the Dollar General. I always get them confused. Dollar General um, this week to just get out of the house. And I bought this candle, and I think it, it says um, Frankwell Retreat. Um, it doesn't tell you what's in it, but it smells like, um, lavender and mint and it smells so good and just clean and soothing. Um, so, um, today's been one of those, I need some soothing day and I've had it lit since probably, I don't know, nine o'clock this morning. Anyway, it's just one of those days, <laughs> as you can tell by this terrible hair that's now in a bun in the back of my head. So I just thought I would um, have a little fun, come on and talk about color street nails. So it's not necessarily nails, but they're nail polish strips. And I thought this was really interesting. So I wanted to try them out. I like the fact that they're made in the U.S. Um, so what you get in the package is you get um, 16 long-lasting strips. Now, um, this one I haven't opened yet. This one is called Beijing Beauty. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> um, right now, though, I do have on uh, Made in Milan. I want to know if I pick the colors because of the colors or the names because they sound kind of exotic. Anyway, um, so in when you get the package, it comes like this, and you open it up. I, I'm not gonna. Use, I might use this one next time, just to keep practicing. And you get. Oh, I think I can open it all the way up. That might help. All right. So when you open it all the way up, it looks like this. There's instructions at the bottom, and then you open this, and you get like a little um, acetone wipe to get the oils off your nail, or nail polish, and then you get this little um, filer, which it works okay, but I don't really use it, and then your strips of nail. So, the... Um, idea behind this is that you've got a base coat, your color, and your top coat all in one. And it does feel some, it feels like I thought it would feel like a sticker. And it feels less like a sticker and more like a nail polish sticker, I guess. <laughs> that might not sound good. <laughs> so it says that it's 100% nail time, or nail time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to have more wine. 100% nail polish, no dry time, salon quality, you remove it with nail polish remover, and that's it. You just get going. Now, you should technically be able to get two sets of nails out of this package because it has two sets. Apparently, I am not that talented, and I went through this whole package. My issue with my nails is that the my nail beds, if you can see here, my nail beds can be kind of small, like my pinky finger is smaller. And even my thumb nails, nail, they're really not that big. So I was really having a hard time getting them on my nails properly. I did them Monday. So today's Friday. You can see where I've chipped a little bit. I'm very hard on my nails, so I tried to 
you know, if I was cleaning something with like, you know, chemical or bleach, um, I wore gloves. I tried anyway. Um, and you can see where this one has some chipping. But I, I don't think my difficulty is because the product isn't good. Because I do think that the product is good. I just think it's me. <laughs> and, I, and I just, I've really had a hard time getting them on. And maybe it takes practice. I don't know. Um, and then they come with, um, you can get like glitter nails. And the glitter accent. I don't remember what that's called, but I have a pack of those too. Um, so where I should have been able to get two sets of nails out of these, I got one. <laughs> I have a little bit left over so I can kind of mix and mash, or um, mix and match with um, other kits if I order more. Um, and the, the really cool thing that I found is that I had some of these um, nail stickers that I got from Sailor Beauty, I think, or Walgreens, one of the two. Um, and I was able to, you know, give them a little bit of nail art. I think you can't really see this one too much. But this, I think, is my favorite, my thumbnail. I I think you make my thumbs right. Okay, here we go. The thumb. That's my favorite. And I wish that there was probably a whole lot of that one. I think I would have put it on all my nails, but it looks pretty. Um, what I do is um, I make sure that I put cuticle oil on my hands at night. My hands are very, very dry right now because of the winter, but I do cuticle oil and lotion. Now, before I put them on, um, I, I did not use this pad uh, to get started. Um, I like a dehydrator. My nail beds tend to be um, very dry or very oily, I should say, and, and I don't know why. Um, so before I put uh, nail polish on, I use this Nia Secret Nail Prep pH Balance. Okay, so I use that before any nail polish that I put on. Now, if I'm using something like a gel polish or a, well, I'm losing my light, apologize gel polish or a um, or or these stickers on top of that I put uh, it's called extra bond of me a secret and it's supposed to be for acrylic and UV gel so when you put that on it kind of like gives you like a little tacky layer so the first time I used it I put it on all my fingers before I got started with um, I put I did like a gel polish and it ended up getting like dog hair stuck to my fingers and you know hair from my sweater so don't do that so what I do is one hand at a time so I do this let it dry sometimes if I feel like I want to I'll do like two coats and then this let it dry it's not gonna it's not gonna look like a layer of polish or anything like that. It's just gonna kind of be there. Um, and then I apply the um, the nail strip. I think for the normal person, these could probably last up to a week or I'm sorry, up to two weeks. Um, but I'm not normal. And I've, for me, probably by Sunday, I'll probably be yanking these off. Um, as a matter of fact, like I get like a little bit, if I get antsy or nervous or something, like the first thing I want to do is like pick at something. And instead of picking at 
my cuticles, which I have been known to do, I'm trying to not, um, I'll pick at polish or something like this. It's, it's a terrible habit and I'm trying to not do it so much, but, um, but I just wanted to come on and, and give my review of this product. I think it's really neat. Um, this is sort of like one of those, um, like, you know, house party things, but right now everything is virtual, of course. And I got it from a virtual, um, party for, um, someone that I know. So, um, I think that you can probably buy them, uh, online from their website too. But, um, so far, this is the only brand that I tried and I saw some other brands out there. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, when I go to Target the next time, I saw another brand, um, there that I want to try. They have like a lot of neat, um, designs and some nice pastel -y colors, which is really probably more my thing. I mean, I don't mind this. So the, the made in Milan is sort of like, that, it looks black, right? But it's really not. Let's see if you can, it's like that, um, deep raisin, deep burgundy. Maybe it kind of looks like my wine a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. Kind of matches my wine. Look at that. I wonder why I like that color. As you get to know me, you'll know that I enjoy a nice glass of wine and a nice cocktail. But that's it for now. Um, I do have some more product review ideas in mind. Um, the next one I'm going to be working on is... Um, <laughs> dry shampoo. <laughs> so I've been working for probably a, a year. I've been trying different dry shampoos and I've been saving the bottles and I'll give you the review on what I think is the best one. And I thought that I found the best one until I bought one, a different one just recently because I couldn't find the one that I thought was the best. But now I kind of like that one that I just bought. Does that sound confusing? Let's have another sip of wine. So, anyway, so we are still cooped up in the house. I'm just trying to keep myself entertained. And um, this is what I'm entertaining myself with. Plus this. And you. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to let you know when I have a new video up. And yeah, more the more subscribers I get and the more likes I get, the sooner I can start doing some live videos and maybe some other content. So I'm super excited. Um, I have some other videos this weekend that are coming out. And um, yeah, so enjoy your Friday. Stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.